I believe that the Loud House movie is going to fail. When I say that, I don't mean that the movie will turn out bad since it does have a lot of potential to actually be entertaining. However, I think it's going to fail in the box office and it's a really bad idea to bring the Loud House to theaters. Let's talk about why. First of all, the last Nicktoon movie not relating to Spongebob that came out in theaters is Rugrats Go Wild, which released all the way back in 2003. It was a crossover between two very popular Nick franchises, the Wild Thornberries and the Rugrats. It was also the third Rugrats movie to be released in theaters, which is a very recognizable name, so Nick thought that it would do well. Unfortunately, this made $55 million in the box office, which isn't absolutely terrible, but it's below average for a movie that had a 25 $5 million dollar budget. You may be wondering why I'm going on about Rugrats Go Wild, but it does actually relate to this Loud House situation. My point is, if a Nick property seems very popular at the time, there's still no guarantee that it'll do well in the setting of a movie theater. With the Loud House in particular, it's a relatively newer show and definitely not as recognizable as Spongebob, who always has successful movies because he's extremely well known. Sing with me, Gary! <laughs> Not as many people are aware of The Loud House, so it seems strange that a movie is going to be coming out so soon. You also have to remember that taking an animated movie to the big screen costs a ton of money, and Nick is going to have to make a profit off of this upcoming Loud House one. They may find trouble though, because The Loud House isn't known by every kid in the world like Spongebob is. Another reason The Loud House movie may fail in the box office is because of the gradually lower ratings of the show. In its first two seasons, there have been around 1.5 to 2 million viewers for each new episode. However, season 3 shows slight signs that the ratings are dropping. It's nothing too noteworthy at this very point in time, but it could give a hint that in two more years when the Loud House movie actually releases, it'll be a lot less popular. If that's the case, then it'll be hard to do well in the box office. Nick is gonna really have to work at getting more people to watch their show because everyone goes to the network mainly for Spongebob and Spongebob only, so they're gonna have to do even better promotion for this movie. When the trailers come out for the Loud House movie, they absolutely have to blow people's minds or do something crazy because right now it doesn't seem like too many people are going to watch. The Loud House movie is set to release February 7th, 2020, which is kind of a bad date to appear. Summer would be ideal because a target audience of kids would be out of school and begging their parents to do stuff, but unfortunately this movie won't be able to release then. Why? Because the third Spongebob movie is supposed to be coming out summer of 2020. Yeah, we're getting two Nicktoons movies right near each other, so that'll be interesting. But between these films, The Loud House has the short end of the stick. Kids are likely off school for winter break in December and some of January, but by February they'll probably be back and then have less time to actually see the movie. This release date may not affect the box office as much as the other stuff I talked about, but it still would do a lot better if it came out in summer. Overall, it just seems like The Loud House would work much better as a TV movie. It is so much cheaper, and everyone seemed to like what happened with Hey Arnold the Jungle movie. Taking The Loud House to the big screen is an enormous risk with all the high expenses, and don't forget that it's the first non-Spongebob Nicktoon movie in 17 years. Who knows, maybe I'm completely wrong and this will do well in the box office, but these are just my personal thoughts and you may have your own. Let me know in the comments. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and comment below to let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.